Hello, welcome back to First Steps into Dawnhood. My name is Austin and we'll be looking at game 31. I had been practicing by doing some games, one game, of Go against another one, Q, and I wasn't going to be recording until later, but I believe that this is a game that should be talked about for sure because most of the game I felt I was behind however that's just because I'm not used to small territory games um, I'm used to the big Moyo games or not too many split groups where there's a decent size corner decent side and so on but this game, which I, I played as white, and I played another one, Q, KA0201ZZ, and, well, I'll, I'll just have to show you. Alright, so, and I won, but yeah, I, I think I already said, but I won by 15 and a half points. When I thought I was behind, but that's because I was not used to the sort of thing. So here we just went ahead and did, he did a Kobayashi, I did an approach. But here, this this was probably my bad when I played R9. I probably should have done a larger extension or maybe, no, definitely not there. If I go there, he can go there. Um... Maybe here, do something like no that 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 looked dumb. Um, no, I th actually this is fine. This is fine, at least in my opinion, because I I remember now because this is really wide and this can be cut. Um, so because he went there and did Gote, I went ahead and extended out. Here I probably should have just um jumped out as well. Actually, no. No. I like I like what I did. I like what I did. This looks okay. And there is a difference between playing here and playing P9. P9 is away from this group, so black can't easily push white towards its potential down here. Where I would have trouble making eyes or running out. While here, it's possible to make threats and keep white more pressured than usual, and maybe only one eye threats and such, etc., etc., etc. Um, I mean, anything's possible, but that that's just my opinion on those things. All right, so here, here was definitely where things got interesting. Um, this E10 stone, what I wanted to aim for was um, attacking it through the middle here, because this shape is pretty bad for black. Um, however, however, I did something pretty, pretty bad. I will go a little slowly this time. So, I did a Kema attachment, he went underneath, I extended, he jumped here. What I should have done is play here. If I had played here, he still needs to play here, and I get Sente. He is pushed down enough, I still get to keep my corner, and I have a lot more potential for the center of the board. Here, he pushes me... Here, I could have also just played here, let him connect underneath, because it's still basically the same thing, um, except he can possibly do something up there for Aji later on, but yeah, that's that's why I went ahead and played the Atari. Um, here, might have looked better. 
No, well, no. Um, maybe here, maybe here, because if he does that, then I'm okay with that. He's still not quite yet alive. My corner's okay. I can attack this group and still be able to attack this group. And I have one eye. Well, it could be a false eye, but it would do him no good, excuse me, to do something about something like that. Um, let's see. So here I would have expected him to do something else. But this, yeah. Okay, so then this, 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 and he takes the corner. And now with this move, this move, I, when I played here, what I wanted to do was attack this group. However, I am leaving this possible cut open, which allows me, him to be able to surround me and get potential. And what this also does is it lets me connect underneath if need be, if he ignores it. Or if he plays something like this, like he did in the game. Here was another move where I wanted to surround this group. In a way, I guess I could say that it's okay. And it prevents him from getting a huge moyo. But at the same time, if you look at the board, Black's potential is huge on the bottom. Very lacking in potential for white in the corner here. Black has this corner nice and solid. I have low top stones, and I've got in eh, on the side. He's got. He is in a greater position right here. I would have resigned after. Th this was a dumb move too. I was that that was overplay. What I should have done is go ahead and play in here. This would be nice and big. Um, um, oh, never mind. I did, I did go there because he did respond. Um, yeah, and then I did a co. Because I have so many threats and he doesn't. Um, even though in the end he said, oh well, go ahead, live. Um, this move I just found find really weird. What I probably could have done too is play here first. Because then I can do something like this. And just live like this without a co. And leave the cut open for me to possibly get to. Um, yeah, this, this just looks much nicer than what I had done with the co. Threats, he just goes over, I threaten, I go for the go again, I threaten, and I live. And then he goes for the corner. That This move, though, um, feels too slow, too early, too early. I would expect it maybe here, or just attacking this group in general, or even up here, even up here. Because now Black is keeping a good group while surrounding this just in case he can do something against me. And you can plainly see how bad this looks for White right now. And you're probably guessing how the heck I won by 15 and a half points. I mean, even score estimator is saying Black is ahead by 20 points. Even though some of these aren't even his points, some of these aren't even my points. Yeah, about 20 points. About 20 points difference with black ahead, and he can still attack groups. This, this just looks really bad for white. But, well, this, this, this. It, uh, and, and this was also kind of slow. Well, actually, no, because it protects me from going there, because if I were to go there, I could threaten to the cut, even though he does live locally in here, and I could threaten to do something with this group, even though that group is also okay. Um, 
Let's see, I played here to threaten... Well, because it's Sente for him to play M2, because I still need another move on the other side if he does. Um, so I went ahead and took that, because I'm also threatening to reduce this area a whole lot more. Um, and then I played this. This was... I really felt that I should have done something to really attack Black. However, this led... To the whole big fun little thing. I was expecting something like this from him. So this looks nice and solid for black. Black can just play up here. Maybe cap. Just looks really well those moves were bad for black but this just looks so much like okay so what he did though is he just extended because he was saying oh i want to attack this group while attacking this group because if i keep you separated then i will be able to kill something off And so I go ahead and, well, I'll, I'll go a little slower. Um, so he gets this wall. This group is now in trouble. But now I threaten this group. He goes ahead and plays up there, which is reasonable because you wouldn't want this big old group to die. But at the same time, I want to say Black should just play over here. Or even here. Because where's White's... Actually, no. What am I thinking? Down here. Because then, this is still Sente for White. White still is in trouble. Because if Black goes here, then he can live locally like this. Um, White would be completely cut off. I would have not been able to live... To have lived... And I, this would have caused so much trouble for White if he had just played here. I mean, if he did something like that, sure, go ahead. But then he can play, and then he can play here and just kill off this whole group. Maybe not like that. More like right, maybe here. Get rid of his eye shape. You know, just something like this, maybe. Because I will only have one eye. Um, he, this just, he was too worried. I, I would say that this was too passive. This is so much bigger than this. Um, so I went ahead and connected underneath. And then he played such and such. I played here because if I played a slow move like here, then this would get way too big. Way too big. And I did not want that, so I went ahead and played there. He went ahead and took two stones, which is not very much compared to all of what he could have had. Um, and then that was sent a move. And then I got really nice extensions into it. Um, what I also could have done, though, is play up here because then I'm starting to build up. And he can't really reduce me on the side up on the top. Um, actually, he played here. And then that, that, and then it went something like that. Um, and you're probably still like, ah, but okay. Um, yeah. And so he went ahead and did this. Now, this wouldn't work 
because he was able to reach out. Um, so what I I I should have I would have thought that he would play here though, because this still works for him. Whoops, not there. If he had just done this, he would have been a okay. I mean, these stones are completely in trouble. And there's no way I can live in there. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that that's all he really needed to do. If he went there, I couldn't do what I just did. And what I did um, was be able to play the Atari and attack his group. Now, this was helpful for me because I was able to attack this group. However, at the same time, um, it was bad for me. Because if he played here, I play here and cut off his four stones, this is his. This is his. He would be so far ahead, it wouldn't be funny. I mean, he could do that, he could do that. He can do threats. He can play there. He can play there. Play there. there or either one and like I'm gonna yeah like I assumed black way ahead a lot of poor choices by black because he was worrying too much and so I said sure I'll connect sure he was too worried about four stones and it allowed me to live um, the descent works. Not. But he didn't care. I mean, he didn't need to do that. Because he can, with this move, he lives. No matter what. Um, and so I go ahead and reduce him. Because that corner was really big. Um, because this move was Gote for him, I went ahead and reduced a in a huge great deal. Um, and then I threatened his group. This is Aji Keshi. No, it's not Aji Keshi because well, it's a it's a bad. This is bad for him because I can then, like I did in the game, threaten to cut him off and then threaten Ice Shape. And then be able to cut him off, try to threaten to cut him off in Sente while getting those stones. Um, and I just kept getting Sente the whole time to make all of these threats. And then he did that. But why not here? I don't know. I really don't know. Would have turned out better for him that way. Um, and then I'd. I made the mistake of this. However, it turned out okay for me. If I had gone ahead and play here, and I played there, he would have done something here, and he'd be getting... You know what? I, I do like this a lot better. What I did was plain pathetic. I let him do this to me, but then I cut through him and threatened this group, even though technically there is nothing for him to worry about because he's alive no matter what he does, um, and I just got more threats to reduce him. Now you wouldn't think, about a hundred moves ago, that something like this like this 
like this would become where black could have potentially killed this group off, killed that group off, be able to get a bunch of Moyo in here, or be able to uh, threaten this group and that group, even though they live, but still be able to get stuff in the center, you wouldn't think that that would become this, where white is now getting a few points in the center, and black is not. Um, let's see, then he played that, 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 that. And then I got even more possible sente moves to reduce this corner. Um, although when I played here, that was dumb. I should have played here. Actually, no, no. I like what I did. Because he has this possible threat. And there's nothing I could have done. So that, that I wanted to protect, because that is a great deal of points, and he could still cut me off there, etc, etc, etc. So I wanted to defend my group. And because of that, he yes, this that was good for him to do. Um, and this was a nice move for him as well, the age 15. And I went ahead and played here, because this is just three points reduction. Because if I played here then I'd maybe get a keep to three points. No, two points. Three points-ish. But here, I gain a few points while preventing him from playing G2 and be able to get a few more points in here, which would be really good for him um, later, later, later on. Um, so that's why I played that instead of J16. And then he played J16, but that's okay. And then I got more Sente moves and more Sente moves. And then the reduction. And I I tried reading through this, cutting him off, but that doesn't work. Actually, it's, it, yeah, it doesn't work. It's just Ko. And then it's a two-way co for black to live. That white black doesn't have to worry about anything there. So I couldn't have played there. Uh, I guess that was true. But, all right. So yeah, that's that. Um. I probably should have just played here. <clears throat> what I was worried about is this, but honestly, I had nothing to worry about with that. I was just being really weird, um, and I just descended, because I didn't want to leave any potential Aji while trying to reduce him some more um, for him to be able to kill off some stones. Uh, so that was my bad. Um, this was probably a misclick for him. This was probably a misclick on his part. Um, when he played it here, I could have threatened playing here first. This would have been better for me, for Yose. Because then he got that. This was huge. This was huge. Um... Threat, 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 sente, sente, sente. Reduction. Gote. Etc., etc. Here, I should have, instead of filling in that co, I should have filled in that co. And threatened that co. Because then he would, I would be able to gain an extra point and a half, which would be nice for me. Um, and then he won this co because I did not have enough. And then he passed a lot as I filled in all the Dami moves. And that's that.
I had 74 and a half, and he had 59 points. And I am not used to games like this. I mean, look at it. Very small corners, very small sides, and nothing in the center. This looks annoying for me. And how, how many stones were captured? He had 23 stones that he captured, and I had 17 stones that I captured. I mean, at first glance, you would think black is so ahead. He has all four corners. White hardly has anything. So, yeah. Black in territory, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. White, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, oh. Well, yeah, that, okay. I'm still, yeah, okay. So, that, I mean, I did count in the middle around the cut after all the senti moves I did around here. After this, I mean, I wanted to resign after he got those three stones. Excuse me. But then I started to count after this happened. When this happened, I started to count, and I was thinking that it was about even, um, because this whole top is actually bigger than anything else on the board. Um, so in games, when you feel like resigning, don't, if it's something like this, if it's small territory. Count the board. This is one of those great, great reasons to count um i've always watched games where everyone's like is black ahead is white ahead was that a bad move is th did that cost black too many points did that get rid of a handicap stone in the handicap game Th just count it it makes you stronger to count because for one reason, it helps you to see what are the biggest parts of the board so you can reduce those. What it also does is to help you relax because you'll know the result and you know whether or not to resign or whether or not he should be resigning or whether or not you should do a certain move or not. There's so many benefits to counting in a game. And for me, I really need to make sure to keep doing that, especially for small territory things like this. Um, but the overall big mistake was, like always, the opening, even though I did gain potential on the top, and then moves in here. I mean, he should have just totally attacked these two groups, but he didn't. If he did that, he would have won. Um, but I should have done something better about that group. And actually, that this this was early. I want to guess that that was early. I could play here instead to threaten to surround this even more. And because I can still play there um, later on if... I'm able to do something in here. Here, this this leads to so much more potential. I mean, if he goes here, I can play here. He can play that. I can gain some potential. I mean, he's going to live. Um, obviously, easily going to live with two eyes. Um, I can still play something in here. Do something in here. I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Um, yeah.
Although this way I would be dead. Which is why you don't peep through Austin. You can go here instead. Do the Wadekomi? Wadekomi? I think that's what it was called. Because then I can threaten something like this, like a co. Um, not that I could. I could do that. Just kills everywhere. And yeah, just. I should have done a jump or something instead of what I did, whatever that was. So that area. Oh yeah, I I just I just went ahead and went for that. I wasn't reinforced enough. So the first problem that area second problem not jumping out next problem his big potential in the center I mean he was ahead that whole game I can't believe I managed to do that um yeah So that is what I have to say about this game. Um, if you have any questions, do let me know, and I can answer them for you later. And explain through them for you, so you can understand. And that is that. And I have nothing else to say about this. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this, and I will see you next time. Later.